course I slept in my outfit. You know, I gotta get into my costume, make sure it fits right. Today's Sunday, the day before the marathon. I'm gonna run around Boston, do some more filming, hopefully find Scott Jurek, ultra running legend, get him on camera, some other people, and pretty much just uh, have a great day. I'm taking a shower in Boston. It's got foggy. Oh, I forgot my shower cap. Hold on. <laughs> Cliff bar at all times, baby. All right, that's good. No. No heartbreak here, you can kind of read that. No heartbreak here. So this is the messaging that Cliff Bar is getting out. And no heartbreak here is essentially just a mindset for when you get to something really, really hard, whether it's a race or in life, what do you do? You dig deep and you push on, and you push on with positivity, enthusiasm, and all those things that get you over those hard times in life. So that is what the campaign is all about, and that is the theme of the weekend. All right, I think I'm finally ready to hit the streets. Well, which one's it gonna be? So many options. I'm gonna follow this mess of people inside to the convention center, which is where the expo's at. It's a little bit hard to navigate through here. It's kind of like a video game. You gotta fish your way through. Hi, Matt, nice to meet you. How you doing, buddy? This is kind of funny. Everybody's lined up against this wall with their number in front of them. It's like a police lineup. They're getting their mug shots. So this is my new buddy, Ian Sharman. Say, what's up? What's up? <laughs> He I is. That sounded good. It sounded pretty good. It sounded British. It sounded better. My favorite thing about Boston is the crowds. Um, they're not just really enthusiastic in supporting everyone well, they're really knowledgeable about the race and everything else about the history of this, uh, what's going on with everything. And, and this is a slightly smaller city than somewhere like New York or London. So this is a bigger deal as a proportion of what means something to the city. Good luck, everyone running at Boston. It is going to be so much fun. You're going to love it. There is a gigantic line wrapping all the way around the Cliff Bar booth and they're all waiting to get Scott Jurek's signature. People love this guy and it's really fun to watch him with people because he's so gracious, so friendly, high-fiving the kids and he'll sit there and talk with every single person and that just goes to show like what a good guy he is. He's not just some, you know, sports star prima donna. He actually cares about connecting with people. Tell me why you're so excited to meet Scott. Um, I don't know. I think he's super interesting, and I uh, remember watching uh, his journey uh, at the Appalachian Trail. What are you going to ask Scott? To sign my paper and be really super embarrassed like a fangirl. <laughs> well, he's like, one of the first books I ever read was Eat and Run, and uh, just got me started into running and eat and ride. And, uh, Dropped about 60 pounds, got into shape, you know, it's about five years ago. And uh, now I'm doing my 12th marathon tomorrow. I mean, can't ask, for, can't ask for more, man. All the things he's done over the length of his career, I think he's inspiring to everybody. I think he's inspired a lot of people to do, uh, kind of get off the couch and start running, so it's always positive. Tell me why you love Scott. I love Scott because he's really showing the world, like, uh, uh, with veganism, you can really achieve some hardcore things in this life. Uh, he, everybody knows he's an ultra marathon legend, and uh, and yeah, he inspires everybody. He should inspire everybody, not just runners. He's just a man, you know. Got the book signed, like I said, I would. Let's see. You it. know, oh. run long and se fuerte. You know, he knows I'm from Puerto Rico. He speaks Spanish. So I've waited in line like a good boy. I'm the very last person, Scott Jurek, ladies and gentlemen. So first of all, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here at Boston Marathon Expo, just trying to soak in all the energy. That's what's so special about this event is it's, I know it just captivates you. and inspires non-runners and runners alike. And the way that I press forward is I really try to dedicate or uh, offer up like whatever down point or low point I have and just offer it up to maybe somebody that I'm running for or maybe it's for a lot of folks who are running for a cause and I think that can be helpful because when it it gets really tough and dark you've got to have some other motivation uh, just getting to the finish line can be one of those but something outside and something bigger than just the race itself and just my individual goals Boston I think is special because of the history 
and the energy. A lot of big marathons have phenomenal crowds, but there's something in the air here in Boston. Just everybody gets psyched about the race from just locals who aren't even runners to uh, the spirit of the whole New England and Boston community. I mean, they take the whole day off here. I mean, that's what's in insane is that it's Patriots Day and people are out celebrating everywhere. And that, that basically gets passed on to the runners and runners get to that finish line with that energy fueling every single step. Do you have a specific song you go to when times get tough? Do you have like a pump up motivational song? I. I fluctuate. I go, like sometimes for me, motivation can come from chanting music to uh, Rage Against the Machine. So sometimes I go for that angry, heavy metal grunge on one side, and then on the other side, it might be something more mellow and kind of peaceful. So it really depends on the mood. Well, high five, buddy. All right, awesome. All right, so being around all of these runners and talking about running has really inspired me to go running. So let's do Let's go. Had to stop to show you this. This is so cool. In the middle of the city, there's all these community gardens. I like that. These old style apartments are so cool. I love these things. Check it out. That is Fenway Park right there, and there's actually a game going on right now. <sighs> all right. Okie dokie. So. Sunday evening, tomorrow's the big day, waking up early, getting my outfit together, and uh, just gonna just cheer my butt off tomorrow all day. And then we can do a funny face. Right. Stick out your tongue. Funny face? Okay, funny face.